Maybe the most critical principle of them all when spending time in nature is to leave nature in a better shape, hopefully, than you found it. And letting this principle guide you leads you to a number of different decisions and behaviors. Can, do you have like any examples, Sofia? How do you think about this? Well, first of all, I'd like to summarize one topic into don't break any new trails. Use the ones that are already made. Leave the ground as you found it. Uh, and I think that's especially something that you have to consider if you pitch your tent in an area. Maybe the, the wind is blowing really hard, so you need uh, to bring out rocks to actually anchor your guidelines uh, yeah. for the tent. Absolutely, you can do that, but you make sure to, to bring back the rocks where you actually took them, so you don't move around. And then we have the other part, which is uh, littering. And uh, you always bring back what you bring out. Uh, but more than that, Kalle, what, what does it mean to you and how do you, what do you think about it? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think you can attack that from two angles. First, of course, from, from nature and wildlife. Uh, litter, plastics, metal, glass, it, it does destroy nature, both for, for the natural habitat and for, for the animals and wildlife living there. I mean, everything from plastic straps that uh, catches the nose of a bird or microplastics that uh, turn into fish food. Everything is due to us and what we leave in nature, so we need really to take care about that and, and make sure that we bring back home what we brought out. It just doesn't belong in nature. But uh, then it also affects us as humans, right? Uh, definitely. Uh, I mean, it's, uh, I think we are uh, sort of creatures of uh, behavior. Um, it, for us, if we are entering a campsite and it's uh, litter all over, I mean, it's, we're not going to think it's a pretty place, first of all. But that also affects our behavior, because if we see a lot of litter uh, lying around, we are also more likely to actually care a little bit less and also do the same, uh, to copy that bad behavior. So I think it's, it's very crucial that you and I, that we start uh, to leave the, the campsites that we are entering in perfect condition before we leave it. So the next person entering will do the same and leave it in perfect condition. Yeah, you are much more prone to care for something that looks pretty and is uh, well kept than if you enter a dump yard. Definitely. In order to be able to take care of trash that you find, you actually need to start thinking already when leaving home, right? Most likely you'd need somewhere to put the trash. So, uh, I mean, it could be anything, but... but uh, I'd say that you need a trash bag. Uh, and that's something that should be standard and mandatory equipment as soon as you move out into nature because you will produce trash and you will not leave it where you are. You need to take care of it. True. And also you are unfortunately also like <laughs> likely to bring back some trash that you didn't bring out because yeah. if you have the trash bag with easy access on the outside of your backpack you can always pick something up um, when you walk yeah exactly mm. so that's one of the reasons why we provide like a trash bag like this at our uh, Fjellum and Classic events to all participants and this trash bag is uh, also then made from leftover fabrics of uh, pr productions that we've had at Fjellraven and it's a recycled uh, material as well. So, so we're trying to minimize impact through that way of thinking and doing it. It's perfect. So uh, what do you say? Shall we go, go out and see what we can find? Yeah, uh, hopefully not too much here, but uh, we might get disappointed here. Yeah, let's have a look. Yeah. We are now at the campsite. We made a short trek uh, down here to the lake. Uh, we asked ourselves, uh, will we get disappointed along the way? Uh, what do you think? We did find some stuff. We um, did. And uh, so that's, yeah, that's disappointing, I guess. But Kalle, what is, uh, I mean, we have a lot of different type of things here, but what is the worst thing you've ever found? 
I mean, you find weird stuff, but, but what I really upsets me is when people leave toilet paper. You know, you do your thing and then you wipe yourself and then you just drop it and leave it. I think that is the worst. Because, what is the proper way to I mean, handle that? I e mean, either dig it down if it's paper that I mean, it uh, disappears in a couple of weeks, a month or something like that, depending a little bit on where you are, but make sure that it's not visible. But the worst kind of uh, practice is when people use wet wipes or baby wipes, because those are plastic and they will not go away. So totally bring it home, bring a bag, bring a trash bag, put it in there. And um, then, I mean, if you're able to make your way out, you're able to leave the base camp and the nature in a good shape, bring it home. I think also when we when we talk about that because I agree uh, it's quite common to uh, to see the the wet the wet wipes um, unfortunately but in these times I mean this I have to bring it out yeah. carefully the face masks it's it's something that you haven't seen before no. but now uh, it's I mean, all we, over the place it's all over the place and we even found it here today out yeah, in the yeah. forest all sorts of plastic. It's a disgrace because it just won't go away. It will break down into smaller and smaller pieces and then turn into microplastics and uh, eventually end up in, in, uh, in the nut nutrition chain somewhere and uh, harm wildlife and nature uh, pretty much forever. Uh, glass is another thing. It just won't go away. I mean, what do you think about this then? Is this uh, to be considered as trash or...? Uh, the banana peel. <laughs> I mean, I think, uh, I mean, we found this at a camping site. Yeah. Uh, we talked about it earlier. You know, if you, if you leave the campsite in that condition, the step for someone to leave something else will not be that, that big. No. So I think any waste you have at the campsite, you bring it back. Or, or any waste you have along the way, you bring it back. Yeah. Simple rule. Simple rule. I think mm. of it like this. If you sit under a banana tree, mm. you, you may drop the banana peel if you've had a banana. That yeah. might be okay. If you sit under an apple tree, you can leave, leave the last piece of the apple uh, when you're done eating your apple. That, that might be okay. But that's like how far I want to stretch it. I think that's a good uh, um, good rule, actually. Uh, and then, you know, when you think we have a beer bottle. Yeah. Did you see any... Brewery? Any, <laughs> any brewery <laughs> along the way? No. no. And no chocolate factory either. So no. I think that's a, actually a really good uh, <laughs> But that's plastic rule. on the other hand, so that <laughs> yeah. always goes back home. Yeah, so, it does. So, it does. But, but for natural... Uh, fruits and stuff like that. So if you're in a cornfield, you can leave the corn cob. Yeah. <laughs> but otherwise, you bring it home. So, Sophia, what's the worst uh, kind of litter that you've encountered? Uh, good question. Um, something that I find really disturbing when I'm out checking, especially in the mountains, is uh, when people leave their tents. Yeah. Uh, and that happens, unfortunately, um, I won't say often, but it does happen. And it doesn't only, you know, leave a lot of litter uh, in the mountain area. It's also, uh, you know, if I'm trekking and I see an empty tent, uh, I immediately get the feeling that something bad has happened. Yeah. So it's, it's a, a, a double-sided double problem, I would say. So that's uh, the worst, I think. That's like... Uh weird practice yeah so once again what you bring out you bring back home. yeah how hard can it be yeah okay this is a very serious topic indeed and sometimes it's a little bit depressing to to uh, see all the litter that's out there but uh, on the other hand you can turn that around into i mean an opportunity to actually take action yeah for sure and there are also many um, local initiatives uh, and global Ah, exactly. Uh, so I, I really do agree with you that uh, we can turn this vicious circle around and make something really positive out of it. And it's also a common uh, responsibility, I think. Yeah, it is. And I mean, uh, 
always bring your trash bag out and uh, make sure to fill it up and uh, reuse it for the next trek. So we make help out to uh, clean up nature. Yeah, and if you do have any tips on uh, local or global initiatives, just list them here in the in the comments. Perfect. See you out on the trail and uh, click and subscribe.